Aquarius, welcome back to There's That Tarot. Aquarius, we're going to do some oracle messages for you today, but I have a few intuitive messages for you too. There's something that has caught you off guard, Aquarius. I don't think you expected to feel this way. Um, I feel like a lot of you are normally very confident and sure of what it is that you're doing. You've thought it out, you planned it out, you had everything in place but there's something that may just kind of like it's like beyond your normal sense of control something like that and it may have you feeling less confident in your next step or like vulnerable or maybe a little bit afraid a little anxiousness um some of you could have i don't know a thing for flowers something about flowers um the France or something something French could be of significance. I'm hearing somewhere, sometime. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> so maybe there's something like that may be dated out or it's like you have this idea in mind or a person in mind or they you. And it's like at some point that's going to happen. Or we're going to come together. Or you fill in the blank. I'm hearing her. Her hair. Her smell. Her touch. You know that song? Uh, the touch. Da -da, da -da, in your eyes. Da -da, da -da, da -da, something. Uh, the touch. Something. I don't know that song. But somebody comment that song in the, uh, in the comments. Da -da, da -da, is in your eyes. It's kind of got like a little Calypso feel to it. Something like that. Um, but it's her. Whoever this is, it's her. I want her. It's nothing else will do. Something like that. I um, also got the touch, the feel of cotton. <laughs> so some of y'all might be doing laundry. Or ah, I've never known an Aquarius that whose house I didn't want to sleep at. <laughs> you know, or I didn't mind, you know, like very clean, very linen, fresh type uh, let's see. If you're a good steward over the little that you have now, you will be made ruler of many or many things or more. So I feel like a lot of you is like, mind on my money, money on my mind. But mm, just be careful with that. It's like a thin line with that. No, nothing wrong with focusing on your finances. But for many, um, I know... For me in particular, things that, I, you know, I was very money focused at one point and it just seemed like that's when the money wasn't coming. But the more that I focused on doing a good job at what I was doing, even though I didn't see the money coming in, but just being consistent, being, you know, um, showing integrity, being intentional about my work, chasing the dream, you know, um, then the money, everything started flowing. From there so that may be a message for somebody too you get a lot further doing the right thing so um i'm reading this book i'm still i'm like i said i'm slowly di digesting this book it's one of the book one of those books that you have to reread and you gotta let it soak in and you gotta let shit happen and then you're like oh that's what that meant and, you know it's called um as a man think of by james allen and in that book, he talks about how good people, it seems like good people are poor <laughs> and the bad people, you know, people who are willing to sell their souls or do ruthless shit or whatever are the rich ones. Um, but there's something that separates these two. It doesn't mean that every rich man is a bad man. It doesn't mean that every poor man is a good person. They're both missing something though. And I'm trying to remember what that thing was. <laughs> Um, but I feel like it has something to do with, yes, the poor man has integrity. He does everything the right way, whatever, but there's something that he's missing that the rich man has. And there's something that the rich man has that he's missing. And I feel like that's the middle ground that you're trying to look for. <laughs> something like that. But integrity, be a good steward over what it is that you have and you will have more Focus on the dream, not the money. The money will flow. Something like that, Aquarius. 
He may have a very good conversation with somebody uh, at a table. Could be lunch, dinner, coffee, whatever it is. Some of you don't don't want to be lonely anymore. I just heard I don't want to be alone anymore. Vulnerability could be like tough for you, um, because you can't just let anybody hold you, right? Aquarius, interesting, interesting messages for you. Let's see what else is going on. Maybe you need to watch your tongue. <laughs> you need to be your number one priority right now. There's something about this like the first it's like first things first is your intentions. Something like that. Many of you need to lean on the wisdom that you have attained throughout your life. Maybe you feel like you've made some decisions that weren't that weren't the best. Or it's like, you know, some people, I don't know, some people may fall victim to like peer pressure. And you know how you don't want to be the, the wise one or the truth teller in the group or whatever. You know, it's kind of it's like, you know you're different. You know you probably know more than everybody in the room, but you want you still kind of want to feel normal today and fit in and shit like that. Don't do that. <laughs> Just be you. If you're the smartest one, okay, whatever. Let everybody else catch up and be okay with who you are. Something like that. <laughs> be gentle with yourself, Aquarius. Be as gentle with yourself as you've been with others, even more so. I feel like it's a part of what makes you, you, is that gentleness, that care that you have for other people, that humanitarianism that is Aquarius. But you have to give that love to yourself. You have to, because that's how you'll be able to keep pumping it out, you know what I mean? Even if you're feeling unprotected, and be, be careful of unprotected sex too, but even if you're feeling unprotected, just know that you are safe. I mean, didn't you make it? How, how, how much have you made it through, Aquarius? There are many people that you have held on to, that you have showed love, shown love to, and that love is still surrounding you. That love that you've given out will be returned to you or it's 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 there maybe it's not where you're looking something like that and maybe an older woman in your life who who loves you more than you can even fathom okay some of you have planted a lot of seeds like you're a dreamer you have a lot I feel to offer the world and a lot of your dreams are starting to take root pay attention like be aware of there's something about putting the things that you're thinking about more weight more about what you want versus the things that you don't want and making those things you know like being intentional about what the things that you want don't forget the things that you were dreaming of because I feel like you have planted seeds that have already taken root things that maybe you were just daydreaming about thinking about you know once you start sending those signals out you know the universe can't tell the difference of did you really want that because we we working on it <laughs> you know what i mean so there may be things that are happening already so be aware of the things that you prayed for because i feel like a lot of those things are coming i feel like a lot of you just need to focus a lot of that love inward it's like same place new idea even if it's same person maybe it's you but just like coming at things from a different you know a fresher perspective maybe some of you need a bit of a hiatus in order to get back into uh in touch with those dreams what it is that you're wanting in your life just breathe aquarius some of y'all need some like R, A and R, something like that. The calmer you are, 
the more time slows down and it feels easier to get everything done when you're just allowing yourself to move at a natural at a natural pace be like nature honey <laughs> nature takes her time but she leaves nothing undone okay maybe those other things you know that I, I have a friend as an um an Aries actually many of you may have a special Aries in your life um and one thing he would always say journey breathe in breathe out let it be. And I hate it when he said that shit. Because I was like, no! I don't, I want to blow up. I want to be, you know, I want to just get myself all riled up about the situation for nothing. And he was right. So some of you need to listen to those people in your life. Or maybe it's like that inner voice of wisdom. Maybe you've been ignoring that. The calmer you are, the more that voice rings louder, which is the voice of truth. Some of you need to calm down to like slow down you don't have to get everything done like right now and it also may be connected to the fact that you may be going against something it's like you may be going against the the flow in some way if you're a rebel be a rebel <laughs> something like that it's time to celebrate the fact that you don't fit in with these people Stand on your own two feet. So a lot of you may be feeling lost because it's like, I'm not even like in my zone right now. And maybe you're putting a lot of unnecessary pressure on yourself or there's a situation that may be, it has something to do with maybe not feeling like you have enough time to get everything done and follow your actual passions. Remember those things that those old wise people said to you, relax so that those things can come back to your memory. You know, the things that we learn, we're supposed to, these are our tools to get through life. So it's something like that, Aquarius. You have such loving energy. Stop trying to please everybody though, okay? Everybody's a lot of people to please. So protect your energy, Aquarius. Be very gentle with yourself. In your time. You have to honor your deepest desires. There's some passions that you have. Don't worry about what nobody got to say about it. Stop sacrificing so much of yourself, your love, your time, your energy, and focus on what the things that you want to do. Self-love, Aquarius. It takes practice. How do you learn how to do anything? You got to create space for it. So maybe if you're overextending yourself you're trying to you know be there for everybody the quality of your life has more to do with the things that you remove from your life than the things that you keep adding to it so give yourself the gift of space Aquarius Ooh, come on money <laughs> Many of you have been suffering from a broken heart and you just need a hug. And I don't know what the broken heart has to do with, but you are loved. You are protected. There's abundance all around you. You got to shine, baby. It's your time. It's yours. Be thoughtful. Again, this being a good steward for the money that you already have is the secret to creating more abundance. When you trust yourself to handle more, that's when more shows up. I already been talking about this. And don't dim your light. The world needs you just as you are, just as you are made. You are perfectly made. You're divinely made. We love you. We need more of you, okay? Shine, honey. And know that you're safe to be yourself. Fuck everybody. <laughs> That's my new mantra. But not like, you know, in a bad way, but just like, okay. I am, my, my fingerprint is the only one that's, that's like this. Okay, I'm the only one that's like this. And the world needs me just the way I was made. Something like that. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Imagine if Obama had tried to be somebody else. <laughs> Worry less about making the right choice. And, wor and be more concerned about being strong enough to handle the outcome. Some of you may feel like totally naked when it comes to making certain choices in your life where it's like ah, I don't know what the safe choice is the more that you love on yourself 
Um, and you know, just checking in with yourself. Wait a minute, let me go look in the mirror. Aquarius, are you okay? We good? You got this, right? You've been through this. You can you can make this choice. You're gonna make the be the right choice. Just relax. Something like that. It's like this kind of thing is not a necessity. It's it's not a luxury. It's a, it's a necessity to whenever you're feeling. I say like growing up is rough. <laughs> okay, a lot of you may feel like you don't have that security blanket around you anymore. Maybe you know. I'm hearing somebody may have gotten cut off by their parents. So some of y'all may come from a more affluent background. But um, in some way, somebody's feeling like they're lacking um, the protection that they used to have. And that's, you know, I, I feel I, I, I feel that. Okay. Moving out. I moved out when I was 17. Um, and I really haven't, I haven't been home since then. Lost my mom when I was 19, moved to Nashville. It was just like all these big decisions from Nashville to Germany, you know. And then, you know, I've moved three times in Germany. And I'm finally in like a stable place. And now I'm in a place where I'm like, okay, now there's this next big decision that I have to make alone. And I don't know if I'm making the right decision. And in those moments, I do exactly what this girl's doing right here because guess my a lot of my answers come to me when I'm laying in my bathtub, honey. I'm not gonna lie to you. And you know, being alone, I don't have any children, I don't have any family here, I don't have a spouse. Um, so all of the big major life choices and decisions have been on me. And so I feel you. And so some of y'all may be feeling like, all right, time to roll the dice again. Maybe there's another chance. Or another, um, you know, big thing that's about to happen in your life and you're feeling vulnerable. Every risk is a success when you're committed to learning and growing. So take that time. Love on yourself. Let the answers come to you. Because whenever you try to do too much or search for them too hard, that's when they seem the furthest away. You got this, Aquarius. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say that. And trust me. What you see now, <laughs> and I don't even know what you see, honey, but trust me, there's a lot of work in what you see today. There's a lot of choices that where I felt, ass, there was a lot of moments where I was, was ass out. Um, there was a lot of moments where I just felt, oh God, like, what am I doing with my life? And believe you me, where I am now versus where I was, it was work. It was bravery. It was, I was scared. It was everything, honey. But I'm here. And you will be like, you're, you're here. <laughs> we made it. Okay. Something like that. Do you need more time to yourself? A break from thinking too much, Aquarius? A kind encounter with a friend? Like I said, you may be having that sitting across from the table. Maybe, maybe this conversation. Your needs matter and it's time to honor them. Period. Whatever this feeling that you're feeling, you got to stay calm as you're going through it. Be good to your body, your mind. Because a breakdown is often followed by a breakthrough. So I'm hearing it won't be long. It will not be long. Focus your intention on what could go right. Okay. When you learn to imagine the best case scenario, you enjoy the experience twice. Aquarius, I think I'm going to leave it there. faith you've made it through worse i feel and if this is the worst thing trust me it's the darkest before the dawn it's about to get good for you aquarius but you have to give yourself a nice big hug and tell yourself yeah we got this okay i love you aquarius like share and subscribe if this resonated with you and i'll see you in the next one ciao